So when we have an emotion or a sensation in our body, whether it's good or bad, I think, um, I think we'll talk about just like the negative sensation or the negative emotion um, for the sake of this pointing. When we have a negative tone, a negative emotion or sensation in our body, all from the perspective of that sensation or emotion, all that it wants to be is what it already is. It just wants to express itself in its full capacity. And what better place to express than through you? Because though it feels dense and tight, it is actually all of this. It is a part of all of this. And, and all of this is not tight. It is free. It is light. Pure light. Lightness as far as density and lightness as far as light. That's what all of this is. It's a subtle reflection of light. So this density, this sensation that feels like it's been there a long time or it's, it's not actually being addressed. Because if we look at it, if we approach it from the mind, from some sort of narrative, some sort of position, we're not actually approaching it. But if we're able to see, to let go of the goal that this sensation arose and, and I want it to be different, I want to feel better, I want the pain to go away, I want this emotion to not be here. Because that is based on a belief that this emotion isn't supposed to be here, that this pain isn't supposed to be here. But supposed to actually makes no sense in actual reality because what is, is. This already is. Saying no to an experience that already arose in this moment is suffering. Because the experience itself, the components of it, the arising of it, doesn't know how to be anything other than what it is in that moment because that's what it is. It just is what it is. So when we overlay it with what we want it to do, it's manipulation. And I know manipulation has a such a negative bad word and it's like, how dare she say I am manipulating anything? But we are. As a someone separate, that's what we're doing. We're manipulating life, we're trying to manipulate life so it fits better into our construct, so it fits better into our idea of how this is supposed to go. But enlightenment is, awakening is, everything is. So who is the one that wants it to be any different? 